All right, insiders, we are back with another packed agenda for this week's news flash. Uh, but first of all, I just want to go through some of the feedback that we got through the comments on last week's video. We know that the insights uh, around what your audience is watching is something that has been asked for for a long time. But what it highlighted for me is something that I've actually been struggling with, which is how do you find that sweet spot between where the views are and what you want to provide to the platform itself. Because all creators are providing something unique, but what you ultimately want to do is find something that makes you happy as you create content, as well as something that can get those views, especially monetized views um, among the audiences that come to YouTube. Um, so keep on pushing us uh, to provide better uh, analytics features and better product features, and we'll do our best to get you there. But now, for the updates. First up, uh, short and sweet, we're bringing recently published videos to the Studio dashboard. So it's, again, something that has been asked for for a very long time by the community. Delighted to get it out there. Take a look. Um, we hope it's going to be helpful for you. All right, last week we provided some exciting news about other videos your audience may be interested in. We got a ton of comments on last week's video. The feedback was overwhelmingly positive. But now you're asking yourself, when is this going to roll out? Well, we're planning for a 20% launch by July 15th. Uh, so stay tuned and we'll keep you updated. Next up, we have some exciting news about audience retention data. Now, when you're looking at your engagements tab, this is one of the most important charts, but it's always been a little bit harder than we'd want for creators to assess it on the video level. What we're going to do is run an experiment to allow you to look at audience retention data across your channel. Now, this is going to be useful because it's going to help you to potentially refine your pitch, focus on areas where viewers are actually focusing, figure out where interest is peaking and where it's dropping. Now, how you actually get into this experiment is you take a look at your channel and you ensure that you have at least 20 videos, each with at least 100 views. Now, if you want to be part of the experiment, just leave a comment under this video saying, hey, I want to be part of the experiment and we'll get you added. Now, you'll see confirmation that you are part of the experiment through a card that will appear in the engagements tab. We look through each one of the comments, uh, the good, the bad and the potentially critical. Uh, we value each one of them and that's the way that you can get onboarded into the experiment. Now it'll run for a limited amount of time. Once we've got enough feedback, we'll make our own refinements and we'll roll it out to everybody across the community. All right, you may be asking yourselves, Connor says they read through each and every comment, but where's the proof? I've got you. Some of you had referenced an issue when it came to subscriber counts in Studio Dashboard and in Analytics. Well, we looked into it and there was a problem. Good news is the external subscriber count, so that which your followers can see, was not affected. It's also largely resolved now. We're gonna to continue to monitor it to make sure that any small inconsistencies which you may see between Studio Dashboard and Analytics and the external count um, is resolved. Thanks so much for referencing this keep the feedback coming. We're not a perfect system, but we do try to be good listeners. All right, next up, we have something that the creator community has been asking for for a very long time, and that is the ability to manage community posts within Creator Studio. Now, this feature, product management, also known as product lists, is gonna allow you to do some basic analysis. For example, you might ask, which one of my image posts is getting the most likes? Through this feature, you'll be able to filter to image posts and sort by likes to answer that and more. Now, we hope that this is going to allow creators to respond to all comments to a post within Creator Studio. We're also running an experiment based on feedback to allow a small percentage of creators to run this through Studio Desktop. Next up on to YouTube Kids. We have launched this in, guess what? Four more countries as of June 30th. Those are Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Hungary. Guess what? By the end of July, we'll be in Turkey too. This is on Android, iOS, and web. And we're doing this to ensure 
that we slowly but surely bring YouTube kids up to parity with YouTube main. All right, insiders, the moment you have all been waiting for, mid-roll eligibility updates. So I hear you ask, when is the threshold gonna drop from its current 10 minutes down to eight minutes? Well, I have the answer for you. The answer is the end of July. Why is this important? Well, mid-roll ads are important because they're a huge potential area when it comes to increasing your revenue. We show them based on the context of the content, the user mindset, as well as when viewers are likely to engage with the ad itself. Now, through this automated placement, by identifying the right spot for the ad, we hope to do some of the work for you. But ultimately, it's a balance between the viewer experience and creator revenue. Now, this isn't for everyone, so it's automatically opt-in. If you do not want to be automatically opted in, for example, if this just really doesn't fit with your content, you can opt out by indicating your preference in studio by July 27th. All right, before we move on to the quiz and last week's winner, we want to touch on COVID-19 and the huge challenges that is posed to people's physical as well as their mental health. With everything going on, there's never been a more important time to have access to authoritative, relevant resources to help with those challenges. In response to this, we're launching a depression health panel as well as a self-assessment screener within YouTube search. This will be US only to start. We're partnering with the Mayo Clinic and we'll be rolling it out to more countries soon. And that is it for another week. You folks have to leave me more feedback in the comments. We changed the camera this week uh, on our upload workflow to try and make the resolution of that a little bit better for you. Now, you know what it's time for, the winner of last week's trivia question. So the question was, which video on the platform currently has the most likes? The answer was, of course, Despacito by Fancy. So the winner was Antono220. KK Bravo, I'm giving you a shout out as well. Keep on commenting, keep on sharing this video, keep on liking it, and maybe someday Creator Insider will be the most liked video on the platform. I can always dream. Now, next week's trivia question, I hope you are ready. Which emoji am I currently trying to imitate? Comment below with the emoji you think that I am trying to imitate and we'll announce that as next week's winner. Stay safe and keep it real.